All right, and uh, now let's continue further and look at example six. And this is a hyperboloid of one sheet. So we're going to sketch the surface x squared divided by four plus y squared minus z squared over four equals two, one. All right, so let's take a look at the solution. So the trace in any horizontal plane, z equals k, and is the ellipse. And uh, this is going to be the ellipse right here. I'll put a colon like that. This is the ellipse x squared divided by 4 plus y squared. And then we, we convert the uh, z into a k and then move it around to the other side. It was 1 minus z squared over 4. Actually, whoops, uh, we moved it over, so it's going to be a plus, and this is a k. <laughs> yeah, my bad there. All right, so a k squared plus 4. And also, uh, since we have a plus, we don't have to worry about uh, setting k uh, as less than any specific number, or less than 2 in this case. Uh, so going further, uh, but the traces in the xz and yz planes are the hyperbola. So this is the ellipse. This is just an equation of ellipse, so this will be a number you can divide it out to get 1 there. So, but the traces in the xz and yz planes are the hyperbolas. And uh, this one here, this is the xz, yz plane. Well, this is just set it to zero. So this is y equals to zero, or uh, actually we'll go, um, actually I yeah, will just do that calculus, but does this first. So then if we put this uh, y equals zero there, we're gonna get an x squared divided by four. Then uh, this zero just vanishes. Then this is gonna be a z squared over four like this, yes, that's square root of four equals to one. So this is a, a hyperbola because you have the minus sign. And go, uh, also, if we have x equals to zero, we're gonna get, um, this is, this is gonna vanish, we're just gonna get a y squared minus z squared over four equals to one. It's also hyperbola because we have this minus sign. All right, and uh, this surface is called a hyperboloid of one sheet and is sketched below. So basically, in any horizontal uh, plane, z, z equals k, we're going to get an ellipse. And then, and then uh, along the uh, x, z, and, and y, z planes, we're, we're going to get hyperbola. So what does this shape look like? All right, well, if we uh, graph this out, so we're, so the uh, vertical, I mean, the horizontal plane is going to be an ellipse, and it's actually, the ellipse is going to be of this form. So this x squared over two. Do you remember the the ellipse sign? This is going to indicate uh, the uh, basically that radius there, the horizontal one. It's going to be two. This one would be one. So in other words, it's going to be shrunken more like this. It's going to be extending out to the x-axis more, like that. And um, we'll put it like this. This is an, the ellipse right there. We're going to extend. This is the y. I mean, this is a z. Z like that. This goes all the way down here. And then it goes dot, dot, dot. And then what we're going to have is, uh, and then along the xz and yz planes, these are these hyperbolas right there. This equals to 1, so it's going to extend that out to the 2 on the uh, horizontal side. And then this one here is going to extend out to the 1 on the, uh, the y side. So what it's actually going to look like is something like this. This is going to be a hyperbola. And this right here. Yeah, it's going to be hyperbola on both sides, so it's going to go like that. And I'm going to draw this out like this. And yeah, just draw it out like this. And then this. Like that. Then this goes around. Like that. And then this goes dot dot dot. This goes dot dot dot. And this goes like that. Y. X. Like that. And this point is going to be our 0, 1, 0, because this is the one uh, underneath this one. And we could have a look at our hyperbola, just recap on the hyperbolas from the conic sections. And it's scrolled way up here. So this is a hyperbola like here. So this is the a, a squared on this side where, where you're subtracting from. Yeah, so if you have x squared, the a is going to be here. The y squared, um, if that's in front, if, and then the other one's negative, that's going to be where you're going to be at the b somewhere over here. So that's pretty epic stuff. So now let's continue yeah, back here to our drawing. So we have that and then, and then this is going to be like that. And then this point right here on this x axis is this is going to be the two. So that this is one in front. This one is the one in front for the one. This one's going to be two. It's going to be zero. I mean, two, zero, 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 zero like that. And uh, yeah, it's basically going to be an ellipse uh, everywhere. So this is how my drawing is. It's a bit is a bit off, so like that, all right, like that, 
and so on. And then on the other side, you're gonna have an ellipse like, uh, or uh, I mean, hyperbola like that, going across, uh, and so on. All right, it's gonna be something like that. <laughs> right, this is again, this is hard to draw. And uh, yeah, so here's the same image from my calculus book. Uh, just uh, make it a bit easier to see. So this is was uh, my drawing. That's <laughs> the calculus book. So it's a bit nicer than mine. And you can see the hyperbolas on the uh, x. Uh, this is on the x z, and then you'll have the y z planes uh, like that. And then you have the ellipses, all all, all the horizontal ellipses everywhere. And then graphing in GeoGebra, we get this uh, shape like here, which is uh, yeah pretty epic stuff here. This x-axis is this side here. Let's go and graph this out. Those are x squared over uh, 4 plus y squared. And then, oh, I need to unhide this one. So this, there is our, this is our hyperbolic, um, and this is our elliptical paraboloid. What is that, this one I called again? This one's a hyperboloid of one sheet. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, so the idea of using traces, also before we get to that, yeah, just zoom in more and show you some more stuff that looks <laughs> absolutely amazing. All right.